Hey everyone, this is a video of my three very best cis straight friends laying eyes on my new chest for the first time. Be nice. They aren't used to lots of internet attention. I implored them to be as honest and real as possible about their feelings, and they were brave enough to agree. Don't come for any of them in the comments, or I'll come for you. <laughs> I love my pals, and they love me. Trust that. Now you get to watch us go through a vulnerable thing together. Enjoy! Yep, rolling. Where am I looking? So, am I looking at you? I will direct you. Okay. Do you need to like down some white claw? Are you nervous? <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like, good. Yeah, I'm nervous because no one's seen this. No, you are the first in our friend group to see this. My name is Brianna. My name is Elizabeth. My name is Emily. And I am one of Ash's friends. And I've known Ash since the first week of college. I'm Ash's best friend. I am one of Ash's best friends. True. Good. <laughs> You are about to see my titty. Or lack thereof. Are you ready? I'm ready. How are you feeling? I like a little weird, but an excited weird. But it feels weird to like ogle at your chest. Will you provide me music? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Whoa! <gasps> a lot more like like healing stuff and like not normal stuff it looks totally normal I like I mean I never saw your boobs before so right. I'm like, I'm, I mean it looks really good yeah yeah you have like pecs oh like, you've got like muscles this is weird yeah I anticipated being weird and now surprise it uh -huh. was weird well we've been friends for so long and we were college we were college roommates for a couple years actually mm -hmm. but one time when we were actually in the dorms together and we would like hide behind the closet mm -hmm. and like, like come back from the bathroom and like we'd open up the closet door and like don't look at me even though we were covered by the closet door and like kid put a towel around us we were and, modest like in yes. front of each other for sure so this is like the opposite of this that. is the opposite of modesty and like I know like you don't have like titties anymore but like you uh -huh. used to have titties, and I would not look at them out of respect, and now I'm just staring at them. Now I'm just making direct eye contact with your nipples. You look so good. You think so? Ah, hey, it's just like, you look like a boy, like you look more masculine. Is that okay to say that you look like a boy? I don't know. Oh my god, though. Like, you look like a boy. Oh, you think? Uh, yeah, completely, yeah. So yeah, I want to ask, because you're not the first person to say that. Do I look like a boy, or do I look just more boyish? I would say, if it's like a spectrum closer to boy than girl for sure. Okay. I would not say like, yes, 120% like boy, but I wouldn't say like, definitely like a girl who's just trying to look more masculine. I would definitely say like, sure, closer to boy. Hmm. I don't know how that makes me feel. Really? I kind of like that, but like... You look like you. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like a more boyish you. Okay. I really like boyish. That was my yeah. own like psychoanalysis. I was like, ooh. <laughs> Ooh, like what sounded good? What felt good? I feel like I'm seeing you the way that like you've always wanted to be seen. Aww. <laughs> like I feel like I see you as like a whole person not trying to hide anymore. That makes me really happy. Me too. That's really sweet. I just it's a strange thing I think to be like, show me your chest, friend of mine. Great. Right. Like we've been friends for like eight years now, but I just I know that it makes you really happy. So I'm like, thank you. Well that's a perfect segue to our next question, oh, which is are you proud of me for being myself? No. Yeah, of course I am. No, the joke was, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said I was gonna make that joke, so I had to make it. I'm so proud. But in all actuality, yeah, like you went through major reconstructive surgery. I think going under like voluntary surgery is like so brave that like, I know you wouldn't do this if it wasn't super important to you. And spent a ton of money and a ton of time and a ton of energy and like, you did it. I've been like, you know, following you through all this and we've had talks about it, but I've never, like there's nothing else in my life that I could even relate to the amount of like effort and tears and like joy that you've had to go through for all of this. I've learned that people think it's really controversial and like, 
deserving of conversation and I think for you to be like fuck the haters I'm gonna do this and it matters to you I think that I think that's the braver part that you've been so like open about it and you want to talk about it with people because it's so deeply personal and so like close to who you are and you know your whole thing with your gender is just so deeply a part of who you are and I think really scary to open that up to people but you do and I just I think we're all better for it too like nobody has to be that brave Aww. <laughs> So I just feel like I'm just so proud that you are so brave to be yourself because nobody should have to. Everybody wants to make sense of the world and so when they see something that doesn't make sense they need to be like, why? Right. I need to know everything about it. And mm -hmm. I think it's very admirable that you're willing to be like, all right, you don't understand. And I think that's a lot of burden on you, but mm -hmm. you're also, for the most part, I think very capable of carrying it, which is not everybody can do. You've always not liked your boobs. I so that's something I've known about you forever. Like you've never, you've never been a fan. <laughs> True. <laughs> and like, like now, like they're gone and they're you. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. Well, do you have any questions about like my my new chest or like anything oh you see? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Do you like it? I really like it. I love being able to like stand up straight and feel t-shirts on my skin yeah. and not feel self-conscious. So I have a really weird question. Is your nipples used to be bigger? Or is that exactly how big they were? I already asked my weird question at the pool party. My question was, do your nipples have like feeling and can get, they get like erect still? That's a good question. <laughs> they used to be much bigger. Okay, I figured. Well, I was thinking about, <laughs> I was thinking about my nipples. <laughs> tape and it like presses down and kind of trains the scar tissue where to go and also makes me feel less self-conscious because mm -hmm. then when I look in the mirror it's more nude. Mm -hmm. The pinkness of the scars sometimes. I don't like to see my body like post-trauma. I mean, that makes yeah. me yeah I That's, think most people feel that it's way. It's like here's my mortality. Let's <laughs> talk about like <laughs> right. It's a lot. Do you like it? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Is that that looks great. Is that like sexy? Very. Yeah. Very. Is there a difference in like sex appeal to you from like a booby chest to a not booby chest. It's yeah. I mean, I think it's different, but at the same time, the sex appeal doesn't change. Like the the level I don't doesn't know. change. It's just a different kind of sex appeal. Yeah, but actually, this is like the confidence the fa that Ash gets <laughs> from their chest now is super sexy. Yeah. So I think that is like what makes it even more sexy to me. Cause I'm confident. Yeah, you're good in your skin now. Okay, ah. cool. Should we hug it out and be done? Yeah. Oh, here you can touch me. <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. Cut. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you for being a good friend. Always. <laughs> Yay. Please say bye. Goodbye. Oh, perfect. <laughs> good job. I don't think I did it justice. But. Yes, you did. Oh. Wasn't that cute? I kept in some of the weirdness because that exists in life. I don't want people to have the unrealistic expectation that everything is always 100% perfect and comfy with friends and fam when it comes to transition. But like, I thought they were so good. So good. Also before surgery, they threw me a goodbye titty party. After surgery, I got surprised with gifts and videos and company and love and I'm just really lucky. Before I go, I have a rad announcement. See these cute shirts? I made merch with the FTBA. Two designs are puns, of course. One is a pin that says gender. I hardly know her is like my last name. Get it? The other is a shirt that says this is my LGBT. Did you ever wonder what a dad joke manifested into a shirt looked like? 
my merch. And the last design is a quote I say a lot when describing my non-binariness. That is, I feel so much gender! Because I do, I feel so much gender. I really like the art on the products because not all of it directly references me, which makes it cute even outside the scope of YouTube, plus queer and clever and creative in my opinion. You should check it out if you want. I'm really proud of it. And that's all! Okay, bye! Hey there, ho there, before you go there, don't forget to click that link. The YouTube algorithm works in very strange ways. A click's the best way to give Ash Hardell your praise. So hey, ho, before you go, don't forget to click that link.